Hey guys, Randy Cabrera, C2 Ambassador, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some quick tips that'll help you understand a few important areas for maintaining your C2 watercraft. Like anyone, I wanna spend as much time out on the water as I possibly can. That means spending less time in the garage working on things. Luckily for you and me, SeaDoo keeps maintenance easy and simple. The three big things we'll cover. One, day-to-day -day and ride-to-ride -ride care. Two, long-term storage. Three, pre-season care. Everything I'm talking about is also outlined in your SeaDoo owner's manual. Just consider this your video bonus. Let's start with day-to-day -day and ride-to-ride -ride care. You've just spent the day having a blast on the water. It's now time to give your watercraft a little more love so it's prepped and ready to do it all over again the next day. Once you're home, give it a good wash down with soapy water to remove any dried mineral deposits. This is especially important if you've been riding in salt water. Salt water is super invasive and corrosive, so be sure to rinse with soapy water inside and out. You'll also want to flush your watercraft to clean out the exhaust and intercooler. The cool aspect of SeaDoo's exclusive closed-loop cooling is you don't have to worry about corrosion inside of the engine like you do other watercraft. You're simply flushing the muffler and intercooler if it's supercharged. Every SeaDoo is equipped with a flush port at the rear of the watercraft. Simply hook up the hose and follow the instructions found in your owner's manual. It only needs to be flushed long enough to evacuate the system of raw water. There is a pretty specific order of operation, but the entire process takes less than five minutes once you have it down. Flushing your watercraft between rides is especially important if you're riding in salt water, but also a good practice for freshwater riders as well. Caring for your watercraft with quality products makes all the difference, and SeaDoo recommends the XPS lineup. Now, is it absolutely necessary to wash your watercraft between every ride? In salt water, yes. And in fresh water, I try my best to do it every time. Also, this helps preserve its finish and hold its trade-in value. If you live in an area where the temps drop below freezing for more than a day or two at a time, you're probably familiar with the term winterization. Long-term storage isn't just for winter climates. If you plan on storing your sea for anything longer than a few weeks, you'll want to follow the long-term storage process. This is a simple do-it-yourself process with just a few common tools. Or, if you prefer, your SeaDoo dealer can help you out with this as well. Basically, what prepping your SeaDoo for long-term storage entails is ensuring all the water is removed from the exhaust system and intercooler, giving the engine a little extra lubrication to protect it from corrosion and treating the fuel system. Try to fill your fuel tank with fuel if it's going to sit for a bit as this will minimize water condensation in the fuel tank. Also, add some fuel stabilizer to the tank. This will help ensure your fuel doesn't break down and the fuel system remains clean. This is also when most people do their annual oil change. And SeaDoo even makes that easy with the oil change kits that come with the supplies you need to get it done. Once you're done with the storage process, it's time to throw on the cover. A quick note about covers. You want to make sure your cover is breathable, like this one from SeaDoo. This helps prevent mold and mildew from forming in areas like your seat. The Sea Dew covers are made for an exact fit to keep it protected and still allow you to easily get to areas that require frequent access like the gas cap or glove box. If possible, you want to avoid storing in high humidity areas as well as for that same reason. Again, all of this is outlined step by step in your owner's manual and don't hesitate to contact your local dealer with any questions. Whenever you're ready to get back out on the water, remember, double check to see if it's time for any periodic maintenance and make sure your battery is fully charged before you head to the boat ramp. It's also a good idea to set up a pre-season appointment with your dealer so they can inspect and double check any safety related items for proper watercraft operation. And remember, you can always visit your local SeaDoo dealer for tips or check out SeaDoo.com for any further help and information.